batted away as it rolled down his arm. Shea Weber throwing it back to the net. Batted away by Crawford again. Trying to catch it. Couldn't get it at second base, and it's clear to the corner. Radulov back to the puck. He'll have to hurry. Back to the line. Weber with it. Firing. Stop made by Crawford. Scramble. The puck is free. And now, finally, the period ends as Artem Anisimov is down in the corner for the Blackhawks. He has not been able to get back to his feet since the hit, but Chicago never touched the puck, so the play continued. He got tangled up with Alexander Radulov. And Radulov, who's like a bull in a china shop, he is digging for this puck. And I think it's the lower body that the right, or excuse me, the left knee that Anisimov is clutching as he goes down on the ice. And right against the boards. I mean, you see Anisimov grab that knee, perhaps twist it against the boards. He was in an awful lot of pain. And Radulov and the Canadians were able to muster up a couple good opportunities. And a little scary sight when you go down. And and Radulov kind of fell on his ankle a little, it seemed, and pulled on that leg, whether it's the ankle or the knee, but had the weight of his body go on that leg. Well, right away, he went down like a ton of bricks. And Isimov, and you see that you saw the look on his face, an awful lot of pain. And because, because Montreal had the puck, they didn't blow it down. And Weber ended up getting a, a big shot off from the point. And we'll take one more look at this play as you see the leg. Evan Isimov gets squished up against the boards and tough to speculate, but he's back on his feet as they're. They're taking him off the ice now. And they'll carry Anisimov off in the corner. 10-4 shots, Canadians. Kane the goal. 1-0 Chicago. Merrick and Armstrong coming up on Sportsman.